Hi and welcome to Clapia. In this video, we will see how to give users access to workplaces or apps that they need to use once you have created them. You will also get to know the type of access you can give a user who will use the app. I'll go to my dashboard. In case you'd like to know how to get started on creating a workplace or how to create an app, you can check out our how to build an app walkthrough. It is linked in the description. Now let's say you have created your workplace that looks like this and you have created an app. I'll take this app as an example where I would like to give access to a user so that they can use it. First, I need to give them access to my workplace. For that, I'll go to workplace details, which you will find on the left hand panel. In workplace details, under the users tab, you will be able to see the list of users who are assigned to your workplace. For example, this first user is assigned to my workplace. Now to invite a user to your workplace, click on invite user. And on the right hand panel, you will be able to invite users with their email ID or their phone number. I'll assign a user to my workplace with their email ID and click on invite. You will get user added successfully message at the top. Refresh the web page to see the user added to the workplace. The user has now been added. Do keep in mind that only workplace admins will be able to give access to users for the workplace. Now, for this particular user, the name as well as the phone number is visible in the user list. That is because he has already signed up to Clapia earlier. If you assign users to your workplace who have already signed up to Clapia earlier with the email IDs that you have given, then their name and phone number will automatically appear over here. In case you are adding a new user who has not yet signed up to Clapia, then they will receive an email with an invitation to sign up to Clapia. So for example, again I'll click on invite user and given an email ID that has not yet signed up to Clapia. I'll click on invite and again you will get the same user added successfully message. Once I click on refresh, you can see the user has been added to the workplace. However, the name and phone number remains blank and the status is pending. The status will switch to active once the user has accepted the invitation from their inbox. I have gone to that inbox and as you can see, the email has been received. The user can then click on join the workplace and they will be redirected to the Clapia sign up page. Once they fill in all the details, they can then sign up or they can sign up with their Google account. The user will then be redirected to the dashboard. For them, the dashboard will be blank with no apps if you have not assigned them any apps yet. Once you have assigned them the apps that they need to use, it will appear over here. I'll go back to my workplace details. The user has now been added and the status has now shifted to active. Now let's say you have more than one user to add to your workplace. For that, you can click on invite users in bulk. If you have minimal number of users, under the 1 to 25 users, you can give in their email addresses separated by comma. Or if you wish to invite them only by phone numbers, you can click on invite using phone numbers. And again, give the list of phone numbers separated by comma. Then click on invite. If you have more than 25 users to add to the workplace, you can then click on 1 to 10k users. Then click on download this blank spreadsheet link. Once you have downloaded the spreadsheet, fill in the details under the relevant headers. You can also set passwords for the email IDs that are to be added to the workplace. I'll just take an example of bulk uploading users. I will just delete some users from my workplace just so that I can add some more here. To delete users from the workplace, simply click on a user and on the right panel, click on this icon for removing users. Then type in remove user. Click on remove. The user has now been removed from the workplace. If you remove any user from your workplace, any apps that are assigned to them, that access will also be gone. Now going back to bulk uploading users, using this spreadsheet, I have added some email IDs. I will simply save it and then upload it back to the workplace. So under invite users in bulk, under the 1 to 10,000 users, I click on choose file, choose the spreadsheet with the details filled in. It will then show you whether the upload has been successful or not. Once you've done this, simply click on the refresh button of the web page. The users have now been added. And since these users have already signed up to Clapia before, their details have automatically appeared. You can also make any of the users as workplace admins. Simply select a user from the list and on the right hand panel, at the top, you can enable is workplace admin. 
Once you do this, the user will now become the workplace admin. You can disable this at any point. You can also set passwords for the user as long as they are only part of one workplace. If they are a part of multiple workplaces with the same email ID or phone number, then you will not be able to change the password. Now let's see how to give app access to the users. So I'll go to my dashboard and click on the app to which users need access to. Click on design app and then click on the distribute option, which is step five. Then click on user access. And on the right hand panel, you will be able to give access to your users. Underneath the users option, once you click on it, you will get a list of users who have already been added to your workplace. In case you do not see a user in this list, that means that they have not been added to the workplace. Either you can go back to workplace details and add them to the workplace or you can also directly invite them over here. If you type in the user's email IDs and click on invite, they will be added to the workplace. So you have two ways of adding users to your workplace, either from workplace details or from the app directly. Once you click on invite, their name should show up over here. So let's say I want to give this user access. Next, we have custom permission models. In this, you will be able to select the type of access the user requires for the app. For example, if you wish your users to only submit information to the app and have no other access, then you can give them submitter access. If you want them to see their data as well and make edits, you can give them full data admin. In case they are reviewers who need to make changes to the status of submissions, you can give them reviewer access. You can also give custom permissions to your users. Click on custom and then select the type of access you need to give the user. Once you select the type of access to give the user, let's say submitter access, then click on assign. Once you have assigned a user to the app, under existing users, you will be able to see all the users who have access to the app and the type of access that they have. Do keep in mind that only workplace admins as well as app admins will be able to give access to apps to the users. App admins are those that create apps in the workplace or are assigned as app admins by the workplace admins. Any apps that a user creates in the workplace can be assigned to other users that already exist in that workplace. Now let's say I want to give custom access to a user who has not been added to the workplace yet. So I'll simply click on users and then invite users via email. I will type in the email ID, then click on invite. If I click on the drop down again, you can see the user has now been added to the workplace. So I will select the user. Under permissions, let's say I want to give custom access for only bulk uploading data. I click on assign. The user has now been added. So let's see how it looks like from their viewpoint. I have logged into the workplace with their email ID and in the dashboard, they have one app assigned to them. Once they click on it, since I have customized their access to only bulk upload data, the submission button is no longer visible to submit data, which means that they will only be able to bulk upload through the submissions tab over here. If I were to give them additional access, so I've logged back with my account and gone back to the distribute tab in the app under existing users, click on their access. And if you wish to change the type of access, you can do so. For example, if I only want to give them submitter access, it changes automatically. Now let's check it from their viewpoint. I've gone back to the dashboard with their email. I click on the app and now the user will be able to submit data. At the bottom, the submit button has appeared due to the change in access. So let's say I submit some data. Now I'll click on submit. They can view their submissions under the submissions tab, but since they only have submitter access, they can only view their data. I have logged out of the account and logged in with mine. I click on the app again and go to the submissions tab. And here, since I'm the workplace admin, I'm able to see all the prior submissions along with their new submission. Now again, if you would like to give access to multiple users for an app, again, you can go back to design app, click on the distribute option, click on user access, and on the right panel, at the top, you have the option that says upload users. Then click on the link that says download this blank spreadsheet. Just like adding users to the workplace, you can add users to your app in bulk, either via their email or their phone numbers, and give customized access to the app. So let's say I want to give these two users access to the app where they can submit data, make edits and also view all data. I'll save the file. Now here I'll click on choose file, select the file where I added the users and here it says it failed to upload. If you get such errors, 
You can download the spreadsheet which shows you where the error is. Once you open the spreadsheet, you can see the reason of failure. This particular reason means that I had filled in the details with only yes, but the other columns were blank. So let's change that. I have opened the earlier spreadsheet and I will make the necessary changes. So all the cells that are blank has to be filled in. Now I'll upload the spreadsheet. It now says successful. And since I gave the users customized access, the option says that as well. Again, you will also be able to change their access later if you wish. In this way, you can give customized access to apps for your users. This method of giving access to workplace or access to apps involves the user signing up to Clapier. If you do not wish your users to sign up to Clapier and only make submissions to the app and need no other permissions for the app, for example, you might need that for event management or for survey purposes. In such cases, you can use the link sharing option. Enable this link on the right hand panel. Share the link with users. They can simply click on the link provided to them and make submissions to the app. This particular option has been covered in detail in another video. So do check that out. Again, this is also linked in the description. In this way, you can give access to users to the apps in your workplace. Those users who have been given app access and have signed up to Clapier with an email ID or phone number, they will be able to access apps even on the mobile app. All they would have to do is download the Clapier app either via Play Store or App Store. And once they log into the app, they will be able to use the app that has been assigned to them. Any apps created on the web will be instantly available on the mobile version. So let's have a look. Over here, I have the Clapier app downloaded. Once the user opens the app, they will first have to sign in. Once they sign into Clapier, they will remain signed in. So I will log in with another user's ID to whom I have assigned an app. I click on sign in and in their dashboard, they will be able to see the app assigned to them. The app is live and ready to use. Based on the type of access they have been given, they will be able to use the app. This particular user has only submitted access. So I'll just make a quick submission. And I'll click on submit. They can view their submissions. This is the latest submission from the mobile app. They can click on it and view all the details. But as you can see, they will not be able to see any of the other data not submitted by them. If you have any queries on how to give access to users to your workplace for apps or have queries on any other feature, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.